Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. So this is the fifth chapter of the rigging in Maya and I've already created the pelvis and uh, the leg part and now we're going to concentrate on the palm joints or the fingers. So for creating the fingers uh, I'll just uh, <coughs> go to the top view and go to skeleton and with the skeleton I have already set the uh, settings as earlier just pressing shift I'm creating the finger joints as much straight I can it will be pretty straight because I'm pressing the shift and I have to put it around the finger area I've already switched on the uh, extra joint option and also switch on that uh, wireframe so that I can position my joints uh, according to my cuts okay so uh, in the perspective view you have to rotate in the on the y axis I, I am, I'm going to maintain the z axis uh, for rotation of the fingers like this so Z will be my rotation of the fingers so I can rotate in X and Y to adjust my uh, according to the model rotate this slight bit Y axis okay now when I'm creating or uh, using the move tool I have to use the object mode not the world mode world axis mode because uh, that's why uh, as uh, is if I use world axis it will not gonna work because I've already rotated my uh, joint so through the object mode or the local mode <coughs> sorry so now scale it up to repositioning the second one as I've already uh, uh, maintained the scale compensate option on the settings uh, you can see the first chapter for the details of that scale compensate option how it will help you just uh, scale those skeletons just like that uh, sit so that uh, you can you know, rotate in the z-axis it is the only axis you can rotate or the middle fingers I mean the middle ones you cannot rotate in X or Y for those middle ones this one you only rotate in the Z axis so that it will maintain the axis don't uh, move your joints just rotate you can only move your joints the base joints you can see the it's uh, penetrated after scaling that we're gonna uh, solve it up when I freeze those uh, transformations as I've already you know uh, change a lot of uh, rotational values uh, a lot of garbage values are up there in the channel box <coughs> okay now position is fine I am satisfied with my position so now freeze transformation and uh, just go to the option box and make sure that everything is on reset mode freeze transformation and you can see that scales and everything has been zeroed up so that's that's why uh, I cannot rotate this this y-axis or x-axis on these uh, metal joints or end joints I can only you know rotate or x and y and I have to rename those joints that is very important that is uh, that will gonna help you so I'll set indesk underscore L underscore zero one I'm not going to use FK or IK because I'm going to use this as a FK for sure so it will be index underscore zero uh, sorry L underscore zero two and so was on the last two ones like index underscore L underscore zero three <coughs> and so on
why I'm creating this underscore L I have already explained though that uh, when I'm a mirror these joints it will definitely you know help me up I'm just going to uh, you know replace the underscore L and underscore R for the right side just control hit control D to duplicate this and I'll just move it over on the middle finger that's it you can use the perspective view to you know finalize your position of the base joint of the finger like this fine a little bit more also almost same just have to scale it up because the middle finger is the bigger one like that fine I think it's absolutely in the perfect position so as I've uh, rotate this thing uh, these joints I have to definitely go for the <coughs> you know for rename so middle underscore L underscore zero one just uh, again just rename that index part by middle that's it the numbers are absolutely same two three and four so it will be middle and also I'll just uh, use the end joint also I'll remain rename that into uh, from index to the middle the same thing will uh, go for the ring finger also and I have already have that uh, rotational values that I need to be you know cleared up so select the base joint and move to the freeze transformation this is very important you don't have you don't please don't forget this because this is very very important because this will actually zero out your uh, joints so again I'm going to duplicate this for my uh, ring finger just uh, hit control D and just repositioning maintain the oh no the curvature of the hand the palm so that's how you can rotate the finger joint in the x-axis also according to your model that is very most important part because your joints should be, should be in your you know the perfect position because your joints are the pivot point will be the pivot point of the vertex of your model because that's how the skinning is actually working I'm going to explain that skinning part on on the skinning chapters. Just reposition them. Fine. I think it's absolutely it's okay. Base base one is absolutely within the within the touch, and also I think the rest of the finger joints are also working. I mean, just uh, scale it up a bit. Fine, just uh, rename the middle to ring. Just number was one. Fine. Uh, also, this one change the name middle to ring. Rename is uh, really necessary because it will gonna help you while you select for skinning. And in the long uh, list of the joints, you can easily you know select it up. It will be very helpful when you rename those. So that's it. Now just select the base joint and duplicate this. Fine. Okay. Just rotate this uh, finger. It's a little finger. And reposition it. Just uh, scale it up because it will be the most small small finger in our hand. <coughs> also, the middle of the little finger. Just adjust the rotation value of the y-axis and also the scale. It's already have the few garbage values because uh, I have duplicated this from the ring one so it's already have that I forget the 
so I have to do this because this is very important don't forget to freeze the transformation values of the joints and also the for the little one and just to rename that ring with a little one little you can call it a pinky also that some people do call it pinky I'll just uh, leave it as a little finger little underscore l underscore zero one and also that will follow the rest little underscore zero sorry little underscore l underscore zero one zero two zero three a little bit same so that's it that will also change it a little so more or less uh, this is the four fingers or our hand and now I have to create the thumb one so just uh, duplicate this to create the thumb now thumb has also the same number of uh, joints this will be the base one which will be near to the wrist <coughs> and you can see the you know the the middle line and you have to align the Z axis with the middle line of, of your, you know, uh, the thumb line, this one. You have to align your Z axis. <coughs> Same as we have done in for the rest of the four fingers. So this will be my uh, base of our thumb. So just rotate this. You have to scale it down because uh, the size of the thumb is absolutely different than the other four fingers it is almost not at all a similarity that's it maintain the rotation value and also the position of the cuts will help you because that's why I'm switch on the you know, wireframe view wireframe with shaded mode you can see there's a gap uh, happening between the joints that will go because when I'm freeze the transformation that will definitely cry out so want to freeze transformation and it will gone so that's my uh, thumb fingers so rename this joints into thumb zero one as I'm created from the last joints it's taking mid zero for five so just a bit I uh, think it's a little bit needed for a but it's, it's over here it should be over here yes fine so <coughs> then I have to have the knowledge of its anatomical sense I'll scale it down fine freeze transformation so that's it uh, it will uh, it will go so this is our uh, thumb and just rename those and uh, this will be pretty much similar and I hope you understand this and this is pretty much a very simple one because I have already repeated the you know each and every step for the fingers so maintain that you freeze transformation your values and also rename your joints with underscore L for left hand side so that's it for this chapter hope you enjoy this please do visit uh, like our Facebook page and Twitter and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to update it so thank you very much